Hey guys, Dragon here from MuseShop.net and today we're talking about the Snazzy Maps Muse widget. This widget lets you add custom styled maps to your Muse projects using snazzymaps.com. So you can create these beautifully styled maps and adjust the appearance to your website colors. So let's get into Muse and here is how you use the widget. Simply drag it on the canvas. You can resize it to any size you like. It's completely responsive. And the first thing you need to do is to set the location. We've left you a link in the widget and where it says click here, simply click it and follow the widget to this website, the map coordinates.net slash English. Here you can take this map marker and put it anywhere you want. So let us put it somewhere in Europe. Let's go to Italy. We can go to Rome. I just zoomed my Chrome. Okay. And the cool thing about this is that you can put this marker right on top of your house. Like this. Or on top of your company headquarters. And you'll see these coordinates over here. Make sure you copy the right value and go back into Muse, into our widget and paste it in. Pay close attention if there's a minus over here, so you don't forget about it. And the other coordinate, paste that in as well. And we've successfully added our location. Then we can set the zoom, maybe zoom in more. And you can choose whether or not you'll enable the map to take over your scroll, which is sometimes annoying. Uh, let's say if your map is full width, when users scroll over your map, their website stops scrolling and your map starts zooming in. So we'll leave this at no. We won't enable the, the mouse wheel to zoom our map. Then you can set the address. It'll appear uh, on the exported site when somebody hovers over your uh, map marker icon. And you can also set a custom map icon. What you need to do is to host the icon image on a site like Photo Bucket and copy the direct link to your image and paste that link over here. If not, just leave it as it is and use our image. And finally, we have the map style. We've carefully selected these styles for you on Snazzy Maps, so you can choose between our styles, but if that's not good enough for you, you can choose any other map on Snazzy Maps and paste that code in instead of ours. So let's say I want my map to be navy blue. And here it is. Let's zoom out a bit. You can set the zoom level the best way it suits you. And as I said, if you don't want any of our uh, template styles, you can go to Snazzy Maps by clicking over here. And here you have tons of different maps to choose from. So let's say I want to find a complex map. And let's say I want to use this one. You click on it. And where it says copy the code to clipboard, just click on that and come back to our widget on the map style, paste that code in here. Press enter and the important thing to do next is to set the map style to custom, where it says custom style. And here it is. Awesome, right? And let's make it responsive and let's preview. Here is our map. And as you can see, the map is completely responsive. It disappeared because there's another breakpoint. And you can also use the new feature of Muse CC 2017. And that's when you're dragging the widget in, you can click over here and drag, and that will give you our breakpoints. So if you're using the museshop.net uh, default Muse file, you'll get the same breakpoints as we do. Or if you're starting a new project, you can set your main breakpoint to be 1920 pixels and our widget will create these the rest of these breakpoints for you and it will resize for each of those as well as you can see here and here it's now completely resized for all the breakpoints let's preview that as well so we have it over here and it resize 
As you can see, the map is completely responsive. So, have fun with our snazzy maps widget.